with three mounting points. Bigger head, it'd be like that. If these are actually carbon fiber handguards. Well, people thought it was a little bit, uh, if you don't have it by now, I think it's a great idea. Hey guys, good morning. It's that time of the year where you start to figure out what you're gonna get for gifts for people. End of the year, Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah. So this video, I'm gonna show you a few ideas for gifts that I just came across and I got, I wanna show you. But before we even start, I had a little a bit of a problem. So a few days ago, I took the bikes out uh, for a little shoot. I was just showing uh, one of the items and I needed the bikes in the background. And for some reason, I forgot. I left the old bike with the power on, the battery on, and the battery completely died on the Goldwing. Died. Like, you turn on, you turn on, this doesn't even show anything. The clock, nothing, completely dead. So I was thinking to myself, oh, I can solve that, no problem. I'll open up the panel over there. I'll connect my battery tender for the last four days. This is what it's been showing, not doing much. I literally went on a flight, came back. I tried to start it, it's dead. Does a battery tender actually, can a battery tender charge a battery when it's completely dead to bring it up to full? Or it's just a tender, you know, a trickle charger. It maintains and holds the charge. I don't know. That problem is gonna be solved with one of the things that I'll also uh, show you today. So I got all my box of props that I have for this video. It's all right here. You'll see very soon. Looks like they actually got from my buddy Nadal. We were there Saturday and we're working on his bike. It was really cool. And he showed me a, a great item that I think could be great in any garage, any house, uh, a gift for him, for her. Take a look, it's a great organizer. Currently, I keep all my all my helmets over here tucked. And whenever I need to get, uh, you know, I need to futz around and go get it. It's tucked way back. So let me show you this cool little organizer. This is like an, uh, a part that I found on Amazon. I mean, I got the link from my buddy Nadal. I think it's like 15, 16, I don't know, $20 max. And you get four, four of these little hangers. It's for your helmet, helmet hangers. A piece of metal, wait, let me show you. Like a piece of metal with three mounting points. And I'll hang it, I'll hang one over here and one on the other side and my most used helmets, I'll put on this, I'll mount. Obviously it's easier when it's on a wooden, uh, like a wooden frame over here, but this is pretty cool. There you go, now let me mount. Oh, this looks really nice actually. Let me show you up front, how about that? Looks really nice. The only consideration I would say over here is your helmet is exposed and there is quite a few bugs over here in my garage. So I might just, you know, hang, put the, the I don't know, stuff maybe the, you know, bag, what do you call it? The little case inside so bugs don't come in or whatever, or just cover it completely. But it's pretty nice, pretty cool. So you have it right there. I'm gonna do the other side now. There you go. This is my newest helmet. I kind of like it again, Amazon. Oh, there you go, another idea. DOT to all of you haters, a three quarters helmet with the Holy Shift logo right there. Ah, I like it. That guy right there, that guy right there. There you have it. So that's the first idea. I think uh, pretty cool, pretty simple. Show the love. There are links actually for all these gifts down by the description is where you can find all of these. I bought these. This is, uh, did not get this as a gift from anyone. I bought this myself. So simple, affordable and pretty cool, I think. There you go, I just I just installed the two other brackets right here. This is gonna go here, and I think it looks pretty badass. Switch over to this view. Pretty cool. Look at this beauty. Don't tell me, don't tell me it's not beautiful. Just don't tell me it's not beautiful. Look how the exhaust, the pipe is, is getting the color like completely bronze, just like, like the rims. Look at that. Anyway, the second second gift I had uh, today for you is this ring. I have no clue what it is. Well, I do have. Oh, there you go. Part of being like an influencer, they say. A guy that gets uh, enough subscribers on his channel. I get the, a lot of these emails. People, a company's wanting to send me stuff for free. So I check it out and show you guys. So I thought that would be pretty cool. I got this about a month ago. I literally didn't have time to even unbox it. What it is, is take a look. 
It's like earphones that don't stick into your ears. They're like conductive. It goes, it touches your, your bone over here and conducts the sound through your skull, whatever. So I thought that would be actually pretty cool, you know, if you're going on short rides with a half helmet or if you're doing, uh, if you're doing your exercise, gym, jogging, whatever. I don't do much of that, unfortunately, but definitely for a half helmet and for you to be able to hear the surroundings, you know, while you're riding, to hear music or phone calls, maybe. I don't know if it has phone calls. I'll check very soon. So let me open it up. I have no clue if it's good or not. I got it for free. The link down by the description from Amazon. I think it could be pretty cool if it works and it's nice. It could be a nice gift. Let me open it up. I point it at you the whole time. Protective sleeve. Protective sleeve. Okay, now, oh yeah. And this is the Ring MU6 Ring open ear wireless air conduction sports headphones. That's what it says on the box. You a Bluetooth 5, 5, da 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 da, whatever, you know, whatever. And this is, uh, this is, I guess, the charging cable. You know what? Okay, that, this is the, the earphone itself. Funny calling this an earphone. There's nothing, no ear about, it, I guess. Okay, and this folds and bends because it goes. Uh, like on your skull, the upper jawbone, whatever you want to call this. Let me get my silly beanie off. Not silly at all. And it sits kind of like this. Your ears are actually holding, supporting the, the arch in the back, whatever the ring, whatever you want to call this. Now let me, let me turn it on, connect it to my phone. A little protective uh, saran wrap. Okay, long click. Hopefully they charged. Usually these things, oh, I heard a sound. Power on. Usually these start with uh, pre-charged. So let me connect it to my phone, uh, which I'm using right now for the camera. Okay, okay, connect. Okay, connecting was pretty easy. I mean, if you've uh, you've been around for a while, you know how to connect Bluetooth. Just long click, it starts, and you go find it on your Bluetooth menu, and it's connected. Now let me actually try and see, you know, listen to it. Okay, I try it out. First of all, it's not jawbone conducting. It, it's free. It's like air. It's like little speakers. I'll show you in a second. Little speakers that are right over here. Can you see them? Right over here, there are speakers, okay, on both sides. So these speakers, they're directional. They shoot, they shoot the sound towards your ears. The way it's positioned right here like that. So the speaker sh shoots the music to your ear. So it's not that it goes through your, uh, you know, the bone, because I've heard of those technology. How do I know? Because when I play the music, I turned, I took it off, and you can literally uh, hear the music coming out right here. Now the music itself, in terms of uh, how loud it is, I'd say it's seven out of ten. I'm not sure I'll be able to hear this when I'm going uh, any any way faster than 50 miles per hour. I doubt it. It's not 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 for riding. Definitely not for riding. But for walking and uh, jogging and stuff like that, it sounds great. Again, you're not hearing the sound in inside your ears and blocking everything else. So you're, uh, you get your music along with the environment. So I think it's great for you know, jogging, being aware of your area, that definitely. Now, personally, the fit itself, the fit, there's, no, there's actually no flexibility of how big this arch is. So it's one piece. The only uh, adjustment you can get is how you position these pieces. So if you got a bigger head, bigger head, it'd be like that. If you've got a smaller head, you bring it closer to you. So that, that way the speakers are close to your ears. Personally, I'm not a fan of arches that go behind the back. So I personally like my earphones inside hanging on my ears or I like my earphones up here. Actually, this can work as well. This can work as well. It's not built for it. It's not designed for it. I like it. Well, I guess this is one way to wear it. Let me just test it and tell you in a second. Let me try it. I have to. Okay. That's pretty cool. I repositioned the way. I don't know what I look like, but I repositioned, you know, the arch to the top of my hair. That's how I like it. And it, it actually feels very comfortable. And believe it or not, I also, believe it or not, I also did a phone call with Nadal, the guy that, you know, Nadal. You guys, everybody confuses between me and Nadal. He's the one that uh, suggested the, the rack. So I spoke with him on the phone. He said, he hears me perfect. I heard him very good. So this is actually a pretty nice, I don't know how much it is. Anyway, there's a link down by the description. Uh, I think it's a cool little, neat little gadget. Not, it's not going to be for motorcycle riding, definitely. It's mainly for 
running, jogging, everyday use. And the main emphasis is that you are connected to your surrounding, you know, to the people around you because it's not stuck in your ear. So you do get uh, the outside noise, my, my neighbors, uh, lawn mowing and stuff like that, leaf blowing. But it's a cool little gadget. There you have it. That's with, with the half helmet on. And like I said, the sound, I, I doubt that uh, anything, any speed over 40, 50, I'll be able to hear the music. I'm not going to test it out. I just don't have time for it. But uh, it actually does fit. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's loud. But I think uh, for motorcycle riding, you have to have, you know, earplugs or something to stop the ambient noise, the noise of the pipes, of the road, of, of the engine. So the concept of having speakers with an open ear, I don't think it's appropriate for uh, for motorcycle riding on any one of these uh, earphones. So I don't trust, I don't think it's gonna be good for motorcycle riding, but it uh, should be good for everyday use. Okay, the next item that I have in my box of goodies, how am I doing up to now, by the way? This is something I got from Advan Black, pretty cool. I've done a video of something similar. These are really cool, let me show you. You know what these are? Hand guards, but not color matched hand guards. These are actually carbon fiber hand guards. Let me see if I get some sun over here. Look at this, really cool. Currently I have a bunch of great color matched hand guards and I've shown you already in the past how easy it is to install. I'll, I'll install them now as well, really fast. It's just the nut over here, the mirror comes out and connect this bracket. By the way, they have brackets for cable clutch or a hydraulic clutch. That means you can have this for touring models, actually any bike, it doesn't have to be a Harley. As long as you can get the bracket I know it's, mod it's made for Harleys, but this bracket, I'll show you the brackets actually come. Now, let me show you the actual uh, build itself. Carbon fiber can be, you know, match any color pretty much. Very nice, nicely designed. It's the same design as we have over there, right there. How do you define if something is well built? Is first of all, the weave, you know, the, the material itself of uh, the fabric. So it's nicely laid out, no bubbles in the, in the finish. It's nice and shiny. Look at the edges. Look at the edges, really nice. And even the inner part, which is uh, not usually visible, is nicely finished, okay? And uh, I'm gonna install them. I think it's a pretty cool, a pretty cool uh, product. I'm not sure how much it costs. Again, I'm gonna put a little, uh, you know, price over here. I think it's a really cool, if you don't have these hand guards, which are great, by the way, year round, they're good against road hazards and winter, especially against a cold weather because it blocks the wind, that wind chill effect that brings the temperatures down. Really, really good for that. I think they really look badass and cool. Rubber grommets, let me take them out. So if you wanna keep them on, you wanna keep the hand guards on during the summer, you get air coming in, all three of them. Let me take them out. Really, how cool is that, huh? They come of hardware that installs, it's a hardware to install, you know, the proper racket to this. And over here you have either cable clutch bracket. This one is the brake side, so that doesn't really matter. It's hydraulic no matter what. And this is the hydraulic, hydraulic side for the older, older models, the Harley models. So this is gonna replace this half inch there you go off with the old come the new ones and they're lighter and stronger but it's mainly the looks so what do you say i think it looks badass really nice look at that carbon fiber the color theme of uh gray, bronze, and black, carbon, dark carbon fiber. Compare that to that side. I don't know, you tell me. So thank you to Advan Black for sending it out. I think it's a quite a nice little gift for, uh, for Christmas. I'm gonna do the other side now. I'm not gonna bother you with uh, all the details. You've seen, it's a simple install. These are going into storage, or actually, you know what? I'm gonna sell them. If anybody's interested, they'll fit 
a cable clutch or I have the adapter as well for the uh, hydraulic clutch. Gunship gray, anybody want them? Let me know. I'm gonna give it for a discounted price, significantly discounted price. So hit me up down below. The next gift idea for Christmas or for Hanukkah is actually what I'm wearing right now, this beanie. Merch that I have on my website, www.holyshift.us. Support the channel. If your hubby or your wife you enjoy these videos, enjoy the channel, get them one of these nice beanies for the winter. Actually for the summer, I also have a nice hat. Really cool, have some Holy Shift shirts. So I think that's a great idea, especially when I'm the one selling it. Another cool idea, if you don't have it by now, is what I'm wearing right now. This, this neck warmer, gray for riding, look, about I don't know, six months ago, last winter actually, I wore, look what I wore. I wore a scarf when I was riding and boy, did I get so much shit for that. Like, I thought it was cool, it's European looking, but people thought it was a little bit, uh, but whatever, so I got so much, so much shit for that. This is pretty cool. If you don't have it by now, I think it's a great idea. A neck warmer that you can wear it every day or when you're riding uh winter just like that different colors they're not expensive i don't i'll search for a link i mean i don't even know where i bought mine you get it's pretty cheap and it's just nice great for riding i would say pretty cool and keeps you warm in those cold days the last item that i'm waiting for right now should be getting it with you know the delivery truck it's on its way i'll get it very soon I'll come back in and I'll show you. I think it's a great idea, especially with the condition that I'm in right now. You'll see very soon. Well, you gotta love Amazon. I ordered this uh, four hours ago on a jump starter. Found something online on Amazon. No clue if it works or not. A power bank. It's at 75% next pow, 1,500 amps. It has this uh, huge something. I don't know what it connects over here, right here on the top. Otherwise, like it's one way only like that it's powered and i'm just going to connect it <laughs> yeah. so i got it done this little thing started up the bike and look how small it is i think it's pretty cool it solved my problem you run the bike a little bit did a great job it did a great job and uh it's a great little thing to have on the bike. A great little Christmas Christmas gift for a link down by the description. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually happy. I didn't want to go through, uh, you know, buying another battery. I wish you